stars Out where the sun sets We find the light We'll keep it our secret oh. Anywhere you wanna go Down at Eden Road Anywhere you wanna go I'll show you my of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit be upon you both into your marriage through the rest of your life and with us all Amen Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth, love never fails. In the company of your friends and family, I pronounce you man and wife. <laughs> <laughs> and you may now and you may now kiss September 1990, at lunchtime, Emma came into this world and changed my world forever. She was absolutely beautiful. And she still is, in my non-biased gamble opinion, non-biased, she still is. Emma and Chris moved with us for one year, three months, two weeks, six days, and 14 hours. 
<laughs> Not only that, after five weeks, the pandemic started. Chris was working from home and Emma started working with preschool children at Hamilton. They saved up, bought a house, moved out and changed jobs. Really exciting times, really exciting times. But during that time, we shared the family home. We got to know Chris really, really well. And also we got to see how they love life together, because they do. They are really good together and good for each other and we could hear them laughing away most nights, every night, and it was lovely and reassuring for Alice and I to hear them. So I'm standing here today as a really proud dad and my daughter Emma, who changed my life on the 7th of September 1990, is now married. I've been told I have to keep this towards my chin, but I don't really have one. That's why I have a beard. <laughs> uh, but not many people know this, but Em and I actually met on Tinder. I tend to keep this very quiet. So for the, the senior audience in the room, Tinder isn't exactly where you go to meet your wife, and I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> We both, we both lucked out. I remember our first day at the mini grill in Glasgow. I waited anxiously for, for Emma to arrive. She did, we didn't stop talking. I ate off her plate and the rest is history. <laughs> it, was only, it was only after this day that Emma told me that she had actually kept the meter in the taxi running, just in case she didn't like the look of me. <laughs> I wouldn't say there's, there's one specific moment when I knew I had to marry you. There's been so many things from your smile, your caring attitude, your drive, your ambition, and the love that you've shown me since the day we, we met, and here we are. I can't wait to, to spend the rest of our lives together, and I feel as lucky as I do today, every, every single day. For those that don't know me, I'm Chris and I'm the best man. But it's a huge honour to be Chris's best man today. Uh, it means the world to me. He asked me to be his best man. I know there's plenty of guys you could ask. He's a popular guy. And uh, the fact that he's asked me, it means the world to me. As I say, we grew up together all through primary school, all through secondary school at Bearsden Academy, playing football together. And I'm uh, very grateful for Chris because he got me into golf, even though I'm pish, but... <laughs> like, all Chris, wanted to do was play golf. Typical of him. Like, um, I've never met anybody who loves golf so much. Like, even when I asked about Emma, when they first met five years ago, all they talked about was golf. <laughs> so, he kind of said, oh, I've met Emma and I've met a girl, I really like her and all that. And then he just started talking about St Andrews. And, you know, it's a home, uh, home of golf, mate. I was like, I know that. He was like, eh, aye, Alan's a member of Creel, mate. Do you know that? And I was like, nah, I don't know Alan. And, eh, uh, He's like, ah, you know, you get two courses, one practice range. It's £510 a year. Can you believe that? And I was like, aye, I can believe it, aye. Um, Manus, I love you, mate. You're my best mate in the whole world. Um, if you ever need it, I'm here for you. I'd like to wish you all the health, wealth and happiness in the world. Uh, ladies and gents, can I ask you all to stand? And I would like to make a toast to the new Mr and Mrs Chris and Emma McManus. Thank you.